we had four group-based uh, educational sessions held at community centres or kind of locally accessible centres. And the main aim of these sessions was to improve physical activity. And surprisingly enough, we found that there was actually a slight decrease in daily physical activity in the intervention group, as opposed to, oh, sorry, with, with respect to the control group. They both also decreased slightly anyway, which is potentially what you might expect over the course of a year in this population. But slightly unusually and unexpectedly, the intervention group actually showed a small but st statistically significant decrease relative to the control group. We think it's potentially not clinically significant as we think the, the kind of minimum, minimum clinically important difference is about one. So there's argument to be made that it wouldn't really have affected health uh, in, a, in a noticeable way, but it was a statistically significant reduction. Tell us a little bit about what the research team thinks is going on here. We think that potentially um, it's just a very hard nut to crack in terms of promoting physical activity with, with one approach, even though it is a relatively in-depth tailored approach as such when you're in these educational sessions it might just be that it needs a lot more focusing on each person's individual um, barriers the, the other thing that may have been a factor is that as you normally see when you do physical activity research is that the population was already reasonably active at the start of the study as you know when we recruit people to physical activity interventions the people most likely to volunteer are the ones that are already interested in physical activity and, and it's something that's a bit of a, a conceptual problem with physical activity research it, it's it's not exactly a problem with no solution, but it's a pretty persistent problem. So I, I feel like the best uh, way forward is to really focus on identifying patients or groups at need, the most at need for physical activity promotion. Um, obviously, from a research perspective, that becomes slightly difficult because, as I've said, they're typically not the ones that want to do this type of research. So, so there's some work there, some intervention development work and, and a lot of, I think, engaging with these communities and these populations that needs to be done in order to really address how we can better recruit or target these individuals so that we can have the most potential for benefit.